Now that we have finished the shape of our shoe, we are going to add design to the sides. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw on another surface, add different designs using different tools. We're also going to learn how to mirror a design from one side to the other. First thing we're going to do is we are going to start a 2D sketch. So bring your mouse over to the screen, click on Start 2D Sketch, and instead of the planes coming up, you don't have any options. But what you need to do is bring your mouse over to the screen, and we're going to choose this side. As you can see, it's going to light up, and I want you to click it. This is going to allow us to draw on the side of our shoe. Now, we're going to use a couple of different tools in order to create designs. You can make your design however you would like it to look. I'm going to use some different tools so mine might look a little strange. But I'm going to do my best. So the first tool we're going to use is called the spline tool. What you want to do is you're going to come over and you're probably going to see this. If you hit the arrow underneath the line, it's going to give you some options. We're going to choose the one that says Spline Control Vertex. Click that. Now what I want you to do is come over to somewhere on here, and we're going to do our very best attempt to make a heart. So I'm going to start and click, and as you can see, when you start and click and you move your mouse, a straight line is going to appear. If you move your mouse somewhere and you click again, the straight line now turns into a curved line. And you can change this curve to however you want it to look, just by moving your mouse. In order to use the spline tool, you have to do a lot of different clicking. You want to basically just click in the direction of a heart. And the only way this is going to work is that if you finish your shape, you have to make sure it connects to the rest of your line or spline. Once you do that, you're going to see that you have a heart. Now, in this point in the tutorial, if you would like to erase the heart and create something that you prefer using the spline tool, feel free. Now that you've created something with your spline tool, I'm going to create some circles to add a little bit more of a design to my shoe. Again, you can use the rectangle tool, you can use the slot tool, you can use the polygon tool, you can use any of these tools to create a design on your shoe. This is the part of the tutorial where you can be creative and create a shoe that is unique to you. After you finish that, we're going to add one more aspect to our design. Actually, no, we're not going to. Finish your designs. I'm going to add some more circles. And once your design is done, come up to Finish Sketch. Now, our design isn't finished yet because we can't technically see any of these objects that we just drew on our shoe. What we have to do is we have to extrude them. Now pay attention because there's a specific way to make sure you extrude each object that you drew. When you go up to extrude, you have to actually click each different object and design in order for it to show up. You have to do it all at once, or else it won't show up. 
Now, if there is an object that you drew that is not extruding, that means that you don't have something connected together. At this point, if something is not extruding, please raise your hand, find Ms. Sarley, and she will help you. Now, my extrusions are way too far out, so I'm going to change this number to 0 0.05, and I'm going to leave it at 0 0.05. If you want yours to be 0 0.02, and not coming out as much, or 0 0.03, you play around with the amount. I'm actually going to leave it at 0 0.03. Press the check mark, and now you have the design on one side. Now, the best part of this program is there's a bunch of different cheats, or not cheats, like uh, shortcuts to take, so that you don't have to draw this exactly on the other side. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to mirror the image we just made. This is going to take a couple of steps. First step, go over to the plane button. Click on it. Come over to on the left side where it says origin and click this arrow. If you put your mouse over top of the X, the Y, Z, X, Z, and X, Y plane, you're going to see planes appear. What I want you to do is click the X, Y plane. It should turn blue. Come over to your screen and you want to put the mouse about where mine is. about right here. So if you do that, your computer program is automatically going to place a yellow plane directly in the middle of your shoe. And I want you to click. So at this point, hopefully you have a yellow plane directly in the middle of your shoe. If you do, move on to the next part. If you don't, rewind this video and try it again. Now, this is a fun tool to use. It's in the pattern section, so if you come up over to the pattern, you're going to click this button. If you put your mouse over top, it's going to say mirror. Click it. This is a very easy tool to use. First, you have to find on the left side the extrusion you want to mirror. And we want to mirror this extrusion. If you don't know which extrusion it is, if you put your mouse over top of each of these things on the side, you can see that once it highlights in the white, the design you want on the other side, then you want to click that. So we're going to click extrusion 2. Then we're going to come up over here and we're going to choose the mirror plane. So if you just click this arrow, bring your mouse over to work plane 1, click it, and press enter. Now at this point, it doesn't look like anything happened. But if you take your orbit tool and you turn it, your design hopefully will show up on the other side. If this did not happen, pause, go back, and try again. This concludes the tutorial on sketching, drawing, and mirroring an image.